Hi, this video is here to help you with shapes that have the same area. Before we get started, let's recap some shape vocabulary. The perimeter of a shape is a distance around the outside of the shape. It is measured using units of length, such as centimetres and metres. The area of a shape is the amount of space inside the shape. Area is measured in squared units of length, such as centimetres squared and metres squared. One way of calculating area is by counting squares. We can work out the area of all of these shapes by counting the amount of squares inside them. When counting squares, you should mark off each one as you count them like this. The green shape has an area of 10 centimetres squared. What do you notice about all of these shapes? That's right, they all have the same area of 10 centimetres squared. This shows us that shapes with the same area do not have to look the same. Which of these shapes have the same area? The green, yellow and purple shape all had the same area of 16 centimetres squared. We can also calculate the area of a rectangle by using the formula area equals length times width. The area of the green rectangle is 6 times 4, which is 24 centimetres squared. Which of these rectangles have the same area as a green rectangle? There were three more rectangles with an area of 24 centimetres squared. Well done if you spotted them. Let's look again at the lengths and the widths of the rectangles with the same area by putting them together in a table. We can see that the measurements of the rectangles with an area of 24 centimetres squared were all factor pairs of 24, numbers that multiply together to make 24. If you need more help with factors, there is a What Are Factors video on the Twinkle website which goes through this in more detail. We can use this relationship to find other sets of rectangles with the same area. For example, to find which size rectangles have an area of 20 centimetres squared, we can list the factor pairs of 20 like this. This shows us all of the rectangles that have a length and width which are both whole numbers with an area of 20 centimetres squared. Can you use this method to find the measurements of all the rectangles that have an area of 30 centimetres squared? Pause here and have a go and remember to use factor pairs to make sure you find all the possibilities. There are four rectangles that have a length and width which are both whole numbers with an area of 30 centimetres squared. Well done if you found them all. Now it's time for a challenge. Is this statement always, sometimes or never true? If shape A has a greater perimeter than shape B, it also has a greater area. Find examples to explain your answer and you might also find it useful to use squared paper. This statement is sometimes true. Here is an example where it isn't true. And here is an example where it is true. I hope this video helped you understand shapes with the same area. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out?